Well, I could not do that as a live. I've already made this video once and I took it down because it was so pixelated. And I really don't understand that process. Where does the pixelation come from? When I did the video earlier today in Tiberia, I'm sorry, Tiberias, Tiberias Hebrew. Um, it was not pixelated. I expected it to be so pixelated you couldn't see anything and it was perfect. And when I made the live here by the house, it was so pixelated you can't, couldn't see anything. So we're going to do this again. This is a continuation, part two, on the rain doesn't make a difference for the barley. Definitely, that's a talk note, I promise you. Um, the Zadok chart is a talk note. We're not given a Zadok chart in the scripture. So we're going to break down those golden calves. We're going to mash them. And we're going to uh, bust up the talking out today on rain and barley not making a difference. I'm going to turn you around here. Uh, this little parcel of land right here between the olive trees sits beside our house where we live on the adjacent property. For five years, I've been the farmer and the guardian of this property. Now, I won't be able to do anything with this property, and it's a jumbled mess right here. I won't be able to do anything with it until the seventh month of this biblical year, because that's when you plant the grains, is in the seventh month. You plant them in the seventh month for the following year. But what you see here is barley. I've got my notes. Here's my notes. What you see here is barley that is 151 days old. Let me say that again. This barley has been out of the earth for 151 days. Look how thick the grass is. And if we zoom in and I hold really still, you see those lighter white heads, those lighter fruiting bodies. They're just now at 151 days, really beginning to come out of the plant. I know that on October 6th, there was 11 centimeters of rain here. On October 15, there was 5.4. On October, uh, what is that one? October 11th, there was six. So we're going to say that by the 15th of October, this was born. I actually would know for sure that it was born before, uh, but I wasn't here visually to confirm it with my own eyes. So I'm giving it the allowance of several days of rain before I would look for anything. So if we take October 15th and we add 16 days to fulfill the month of October, we had 30 days for November, 31 days for December, 31 days for January, 29 days for February, and we won't count March, those three days in March, because we're into March. This barley is at least 151 days old. Please don't listen to the Zadok scale thumpers. The only time that you pull the trigger to know when the barley is going to ripen is when the heads come out of the plant. The trigger has been pulled on this field this week. This week, the barley has become, has begun to come out of the heads in this field. You cannot know the age of the barley unless you saw it emerge from the earth. Every bit of rain counts when it comes to barley, which is exactly why in the northern Negev, their barley is more mature than ours is here in the earth. In the northern Negev, they had very early rains at the same time that we had our lighter rains here in the north. The barley counts every ounce of rain. Their pause in the rain was longer than our pause in the rain, and therefore 
there were heads that began to mature, come out of the body, and began to mature recently. This same barley that came out at the same time has held back its head because the water has been plentiful. You see, one of the promises they were given in Scripture was that there would be enough bread for them and grass for their animals. Before this is harvested, before this comes out and shows a head like this, this is grass. Look at this. You see these coming out just now? Looks like grass. And when you harvest and you take the heads away, you have grass left. This was a barley harvest and this was grass for the animals. We mentioned it, I mentioned it in the last video that it was a blessing if you could go from the threshing, which is barley and grains, to the vintage, which is the harvest of the grapes, to the seventh month and have no break in the agricultural labor con connecting the harvest that was a blessing having having the vintage last to shavu uh, having the vintage lost last to the uh, sorry having the threshing last to the vintage this is a blessing this is a blessing but you cannot look at the barley standing with its little fruiting head showing and thump your zadok sex scale and thump your zadok scale and proclaim the age of what you're looking at. You cannot do it. And it's led many astray this year. Unfortunately, it's led many astray. Sadly, very sadly. I, I suppose that this would be why in the 10th and 11th century, the, the Karaites who kept those journals knew good and well that you needed to ask the farmer or the guardian of the land to determine the age of the barley and to, 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 and to give them an estimate of when the barley would be ready. So that concludes what I wanted to tell you about the rain and the barley. And it does affect the barley. It does affect the barley. These, this, these heads are not going to be ripe tomorrow. They're going to go through the same process as the rest of the land. The ripening is going to depend on, number one, how much moisture is in that soil below that barley that's acting like a mulch to preserve the moisture. Number two, what's going to be the rate of evaporation? And number three, what are going to be the ambient temperatures in the coming day? And is there going to be more rain? Because some of those are not out of the plant yet. And if there's more rain, they're not going to come out of the plant until later. Even the Kararite journals talked about the three types of, of, of plants in a single field. It could be uh, fruiting, it could be dough, and it could be shattering. Even the Karaite journals talked about these things. So the rain affects the barley. The rain affects the presentation of the barley head. The barley in Israel can have a longer germination to harvest timeline than the Zadok scale. These things are for domestic grains and the ones who are thumping it only know the domestic grains in other countries. Now I will add that if your barley does not have a pause in its development, what am I talking about? That, that barley we had in 2020, when just before we went into the COVID lockdown, that had come out of the boot early, and there was enough continual rain and moisture in that time that it was more of a normal cycle comparable to what a domestic barley would do. But we have to remember, this is a, a clock for Elohim. And I'm going to surprise you here. I've not written this down yet, but the calendar begins with the barley, it's really not about the barley. It's really about the wheat.